How's it going you guys? In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to do a quick auto cal using an Olympic 650. And uh, we're gonna be doing that with a D790 and a step wedge 0.100 all the way to 0.500. As you can see, we are in this main menu and uh, our zero is actually literally at zero and our calibration is actually off so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take you guys step by step of how to set up your scope just really rapidly and as you can see i moved my gate just right there to where the edge is because we are reading edge we're gonna hit second function auto 80 as you can see we're actually off because that should say three this should say one and it's actually way off so our velocity is actually out of place but we're not even gonna move that we're i'm gonna take you right where you should be and uh first steps is uh you want to make sure that your settings are correct so you got your gate one and it's every everything should be somewhere around this area so if you want to take a screenshot of how your settings should be you go ahead and do that our second gate is actually off at the moment so we're reading edge and this is where you go to move that this is for peak this is for edge and you go to our display settings this is how i have mine you don't have to have it that way but you could screenshot it if you'd like to do that then exit out of there measure setup this is uh an important part where we will have our setup our gate amplitude will give us what um amperage we're in this is gate two this is for um your second gate your thickness gate one will be reading this big uh, box right here and this is for your uh, echo echo but for this video we don't have that on so we don't need that that's kind of pretty much how our scope is supposed to be set up um, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on how everything looks the pulser this is how I have mine set up make sure you're on dual 5 megahertz frequency this is an auto I have my energy at 200 and uh, the filter as you can see we're within the filter range of 0.15 and 0.85 this is a 5 megahertz so we're actually good and rectifier is full and that's fine this is for shear wave and this these are at zero so these are irrelevant so we go back to where we will do our auto cal and it's a really simple step all you have to do is um, go to your smallest range uh, I'm gonna go to the two as you can see, I'm actually, my uh, gate is on the peak itself. So I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna get auto 80, second function, auto 80. So that way we um, are actually auto 80. So now we're gonna go to 0.200. As you can see, it's way out of range. We're gonna hit continue. And now we're gonna go to our biggest step, which is 500 gonna make sure that our gate is in place right on the edge we're gonna hit second function auto 80 I'm gonna hit this back button brings us back to this menu we're gonna hit that right there and now we're gonna put 500 I'm gonna scroll down to where it should be we're gonna hit done and right now we're actually out of place as you can see we're reading the second gate but this is is one inch which is good because that means it's doubling it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit gate we're gonna move our gate our gate one right to place where it should be as you can see we're actually reading the gate two, the the gate one and we're uh calibrated at 500 and that's a really easy way to calibrate your scope using a, a quick auto cal and if we go back, this pretty much sets us up where our, our velocity should be in our zero. So we're actually good, really easy step. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video, if you found this useful.